Say y'all, this rude boy checking in with Taliban TV. Rude boy, what it's looking like, man? It's been a minute since I seen you, bro. What you been on, man? Man, just chilling, man. You know, try to trying to get this thing I got going on, on the road. You hear me? Man, for anybody that don't know, anybody that ain't heard from you, I know we at Dallas right now. You from Louisiana? Tell them about yourself right now. Rude boy, you know, everybody, if you ain't heard about me, you're going to hear about me, you know. Uh, new R&B songwriter. Uh, coming to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Show love to my whole family. Show love to real, man. My other big homie, Hollywood Bay Bay. You know, uh, just really trying to expand my, expand my talent, you know what I mean? Get out here and just feel a vibe with Dallas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, what all you got going out here while you here? I got a lot to say. Me and, me and Hollywood Baby gonna meet up. We gonna, we gonna chop it up, you know what I'm saying? He can drop some ideas, you know what I'm saying, for the future, you know what I'm saying? And try to look for these artists out here. I need all the R&B artists, females, males. I need y'all to come get at me, you know what I mean? So I can, we, can, we can work. We can get some, make some. We gonna make R&B what it is again, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, man, for you, I, I know you from Louisiana, what? What you'll say, how was it all uh, coming up in Louisiana? Uh, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? Because, because everybody know Louisiana is the bottom. Yeah. We last to do everything, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, it's tough, man, you know what I'm saying? I seen a lot of stuff when I was, you know, younger. And uh, I still see a lot to this day, you know what I'm saying? So, it's tough, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? So, really, to, to be able to get out of Louisiana, that's a blessing by itself, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. so, Losing people, you know, uh, whatever, going streetwise, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's tough, you know what I'm saying? So it's a blessing to be here. 28 years old, it's a big blessing to be here. You know yeah. Man, yeah. when you are on, um, when you think of songwriting, you don't really just see, you hear people say they write their songs, but you in your own lane, you different from everybody. What made you just go with songwriting? Like you say, like it just, everybody doing rap, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. They, 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 they taking a rap and, and they, they doing this with they doing that with it. So I wanted to be different, you know what I'm saying? I could have did anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do what I like to do, which is right, you know what I'm saying? So start writing, you know what I'm saying? I came out with my first, my first song and I was like, you know, everybody was, you know, feeling it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to continue to do this, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get it bigger. I'm, I'm going to continue to write, you know what I'm saying? Continue to put out, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, the, the word can hear me. Man, when you say you start writing, how long you been in it? Man, I, I should start writing this year, mm -hmm. but for the love of music, all my life. Yeah. You know I mean? Since, since Pampers, you know what I'm saying? So, that, that love, that soul I have in my heart, that music that has in my heart, it's been with me since I was, so I could be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel you, you feel you serious with it yet, or you need some more time for you just take it serious, or you feel like you're serious with it? I'm, I'm a head full of steam. Mm -hmm. I'm a head full of steam right now, man. I'm, I'm trying to get out there. Man, how you explain the, the North Louisville, the R&B scene right now? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't it right now, you know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what. That's where you come in. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'm, I'm trying to get this spark underneath, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, a lot of places, they have their R&B scene, you know what I'm saying? But Louisiana really don't, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get that, get that spark on, underneath, you know what I'm saying? My hometown first, you know what I'm saying? So, and it, it's, I know it's gonna be tough, you know what I'm saying? Cause we, down south, we different, you know what I'm saying? But. It's gonna come along. It's come along. Man, who was the some artists you, you listen to coming up where you just get your soul music from? Where you got all it from? Man, I gotta say, man, R.I.P. Whitney Houston. Yeah. Whitney Houston, man, that's that's my baby up, boy. Hey, when I tell you she can get me out of any mood, she can put me in that right mood, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, growing up, my mama, man, that's when she in the house cleaning up, and I'm sitting there, you know what I'm saying, as a little boy, she got that Whitney Houston playing, she got that new edition, you know, Boys to Men, she got all these soul R&B, you know, groups or, or singers playing, so you can't help but to love the love the music, love the soul. Now that you say Whitney Houston, what you say that you, what you think, you prefer the, the style writing with women or you prefer writing for men? Uh, I like, I can do both, but I prefer Women, mm -hmm. you know, I prefer women because I, uh, I was raised around a lot yeah. of women. 
know what they go through. I know what they, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them been through, so I can write on what I've seen and what I've heard and what I've witnessed. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's easy to write for a man, you know? It's easy because I'm a man. Yeah. So it's easy to write for a man, you know what I mean? But I like that, I like that, that, that woman touch, you know what I'm saying? I like to put my songs in, in women's hands because it's a lot of pain behind the vocals when it comes from a woman. Man, any artists that you haven't worked with in your area that you want to work with? Uh, Man, I'm a great networker. When I tell you that, I can get in touch with people that I really, like I, some people might feel like they can't get in touch with. Mm -hmm. I might end up t bumming to this person, this person might know this person, that person might know you, you know what I mean? That's how I can get it, yeah. you know, get in touch with you. But uh, there's a lot of people, you know, from the South uh, that I've been kind of keeping my eye on, like, you know what, I'm, I'm writing my song and, and go present it to them, you know what I mean? But uh, my hometown, not really, because a lot of my singers, a lot of singers that's in my hometown, they don't come outside at all. Yeah, <laughs> they uh -huh. don't come outside at all. So I gotta go, I gotta go find them. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know what I mean. It's tough. Yo, shout out to Taliban TV. I fuck with him because he fuck with me. Call it Peter Boss.